Templates in Word is one of most useful feature for frequent word users because it saves a lot of time by automated styles. In this word tip, we are going to go through a real life scenario where you would want to convert an existing document into template. My scenario is helping out my brother who is taking online courses and is required to write up these reports for assignments. The reports have to be identical in their looks, look and feel. So, after helping him in second time, they create the formatting, the headers, the footers, etc. I thought it's uh, time to now to create templates so we never have to go through those steps again. We just simply add the content which will be different from one report to the next. So you may have a scenario like that. We are going to work with this document though, physics assignment, real document and as you can see there is a header up in there in specific formatting, page numbering. On the title page you can see certain information has to appear and then when we get into second page the header is different and there is a photo on page 2 and on as well. So instead of recreating this report every time we are going to create template from it. So the first step is to convert this formal document to an actual template that we can edit. Let's go up to file and go down to save as. Next we will change name from physics assignment. And that's just the particular assignment but we want to use the template for every course assignment. Let's take out the word physics and add some word course and change it from word document by clicking the drop down below and choosing the word template with the extension .dotx. Watch what happened when you click the template. The default folder is called custom office templates. That's where you will go if you want to ever delete this template or open it up and edit it for example it's under the document folder so course assignments is going to be a new name and template is going to be a new file type when we click save now it looks exactly the same but actually template we are working on check out the title bar dot dotx that means we are start changing content to from prompts. Now the first thing you want to do is if you want to go into be using field prompts is make sure you can see the developer tab up here on the ribbon. Now if you can't just right click on the empty spot on the ribbon and go to customize ribbon and make sure developer is checked off. If it is not which is isn't by default just give it a click to check it off. Click ok and you will have a developer tab. Now we can use that when we go into header. For example, here on the page 1, let's double click up here in the header area gets inside. And instead of title physics course, we want to prompt in here that's going to say type in the title in our case. So we go to developer tab and we go to the controls. The very first control is up here is, is called rich text control. This means that we can format the contents whereas the other text control for plain text means that they are exactly how it is going to appear is plain text. We want to be able to format it so choose switch text control and all you see is now with this border around the title physics course. It is now a control and it's still highlighted so we can type right over it and we can do it in all caps. Type title here in uppercase there we go. Notice the typo is where I shouldn't have typed in let's leave that there and we will look at editing templates later. Excellent. Now we can actually get out of the header by double clicking down below in content area. Notice a new running head that stays there just the way it is. But there is but there will be prompt to type in actual title in the uppercase. The same can be done right here on this title page instead of title the name which may be always the same, we can leave it, leave it there. The course name will change, the date will change and let's put some controls here as well. So we will select physics course here, just the title, don't need to extra space at the end and we will go back to developer tab and change it up to the, change it up for a rich text control. There we go and now we can type it in, type the title here and you can see the formatting is not uppercase. I think we can leave the name as is, it's always going to be the same person creating it. If not, 
you could change it to from to the folder na name but the course name is going to change so we will select it and again it's a rich control text type course name here there we go the date is always going to be the current date so we can use different type of control here we will select and instead of developer tab let's go to the insert tab because of because from here if we go to the text group there is a date and time option now that will insert the date and time if you want to insert the current date and time you will go to the quick parts uh, choose field this is actually going to be a date field so if you don't already see it change it from all to the date and time and now all you have to do is select the, select the appropriate formatting which is the one here and click ok now you can see the current date showing up and it will always be the current date whenever this is opened up and new report is created ok now we can scroll down because it looks like there is a different header being used after this first page so we need to get in there and show enough here it's a different first page and in this case we need to title recreated guess where are you going here open tab rich text and type title here there we go page numbering is there and we scroll a little further down and we will see there is a information in the footer we will keep the same on the title page we might as well keep it here it will never have to be oriented so let's go up to the design tab under header and footer tools and close the header and footer that way now all we need to is to take out the contents well we need the title here again so we could put the control just to make sure it gets added to the top of the first actual page of content and that's on the developer tab rich text type title here there we go now down below is where the country will go the formatting is already there for the indenting so all we have to do is take out the con contents by clicking and dragging all the way down there we go eventually we reach the last page which is where the references are going i want to keep that so let's just scroll up to a little bit to make sure you are not selecting that and we will just hit the delete key or the backspace key now you can see title type title here the next page is the reference list beautiful now if you wanted you you could have a first paragraph placeholder you could have or if you wanted to uh, place all for the title, the title subtitles that go in here. But right now we have a nice empty template. So now if you if you happen to take out any of the formatting like the indenting, you can put it back. Just go up the ruler here under the type title here. Then make sure that there is a left align tab by clicking the half inch mark. There we go. We are ready to save this up just by clicking save or control plus s. We will keep in the same name costassignments.dotx and when it's done we can close it up. So go up to file and close and it's time to test this out. We are ready to create our next report. We go up to the file and we go to the new and this time we go to the personal because we have created our own template the personal category shows up. And there should be a one in there called course assignment. There it is. Click once to select it and there we go. The title here should have been uppercase. So we could go into the template itself and edit that. Which will be doing in a minute. But right now we will double click. Notice that's a placeholder. So when we click and then click the title icon on the left. We select the entire thing so we can type our new title. So maybe you are doing a new report in this time on chemistry assignment like so. Now we can close up the header it's there. Where is type in title here again we can select it icon to select, select everything. And this time it's not uppercase chemistry assignment name already there. The course is name if you wanted to type that in. The date is already there saved sometime. As we move down into the next page type title here. Again we double click, this is a placeholder that we can select, there is no changing margins, alignments etc. The page numbering it's already there, can close up that, go down to its title itself and then click below over here on the left hand side, 
we were ready to stop typing. All we do now is save up our document. So clicking save is going to save a new document where you need to give it a name and will automatically be saved as a word document, not as a template. Let's while we are in here go to open to open obtain template. It shows up just like the other documents we have been working with. So we can open it up and if we needed to make changes to it like up here. Click inside the control for our running header running, running head title and edit that easily done. Close it up, click save and you are saving up the template. You can close that up and that's how you are taking existing document to turn it to the template to save yourself a lot of time and effort when creating the same type of document here in Word 2019.